All right, guys, so today I am working on that Kia Sedona, the one with the rotted control arm uh, that's broken too. And um, I'm having a problem. Let me show you what I got. So I actually cut the old control arm out at the one point over here because I can't get it out. The problem is the bolt is seized onto the bushing, um, the steel sleeve that's inside the bushing there. I was able to turn it, but the whole bushing's turning at the same time. Uh, I wound up with a breaker bar on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cutoff wheel. I'm gonna slice this here, rotate this down, slice this here, separate the two halves. This way I can get the bushing off, the actual rubber part, get down to the steel sleeve. Because normally the steel sleeve um, has a seam in it. Um, and you usually hit it with a chisel or whatever to open it up. So let me go ahead and do that and see how that comes out. All right, so there you go. I just sliced off the piece, and now this part should pop out. I might have to pry it out or hit it with a hammer or something because it's not a perfect half circle. The other piece fell off. There it is. So, as you can see, it's not a perfect half circle. So, I'm just going to have to pry that off and get that off of there. Well, that's actually interesting. I just realized it. It's a steel sleeve, a rubber bushing, another steel sleeve at the bolt side, but this, this steel sleeve is up against the actual control arm. So I may have to cut through that. I'm gonna hit this with an air hammer to knock it off, um, off of this piece. And then I may have to take, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut into this some more and do the same thing. Let me do that. All right, so I hit that with the air hammer, it popped right off. So I'm gonna have to cut into this and do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna probably put two different cuts into it. Uh, as you can see, it actually rotated this sleeve compared to the bushing. Oh, there it is, it's just an end piece. So, there it is, the other piece that came off. So, let me do that, get that out. And trust me, I did try hitting on this to try to drive it through when it will not go through. So, and I don't want to destroy the bolt. Worst comes to worst, I'm gonna to have to sawzall them and uh, ruin the bolt, but I'd rather use the original bolt if I could. So there, I sliced it all the way around. Uh, went right through it, so now I'm going to hit it with an air hammer and try to separate it. Hopefully, this will separate from the inner piece. All right, so I got the outer shell off, and I got the rubber piece off, and it was um, basically vulcanized together. Now, the inner sleeve here, this thick-ass sleeve that the bolt drives through or rides through, uh, it does not have a seam to it. So what I did was I held it with the pipe wrench here, and I was able to spin it uh, and actually break it free. Problem is it's so rusted, I'm working it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's finally coming free. Uh, I've been lubing it up and everything else. So it's just a matter of a few more, you know, spin it, hit it in, spin it, hit it out. It'll eventually come out. All right, so I finally got that out of there. And uh, I did kind of beat on it a bit, but I finally got it out. It broke free, obviously. So now I can put the lower control arm in. All right, so there it is. The arm is in place now. Uh, basically, the easiest thing is just you pull this out of the way. When you bolt this up, this bolt here, make sure that this thing is level when you do it. Once you have this out of the way, because of the design of this bushing, it's going to kind of center itself and level out anyway. So just make sure you tighten that at that point when this thing's level. You don't tighten it at the point it is now, because then all you're doing is binding up the bushing. See, right now, the bushing is in this position and it's tight and then what I did was I rotated the arm down so it actually tensioned the bushing this way so now when this thing's on the ground and the suspension's level like it's supposed to be with the weight on it that bushing's in a relaxed position um I mean it's really a simple job there's not a lot to it you know the the, the hardest part of that whole job was like I said it was it was getting that old bushing out or to bolt out of the bushing because it was so seized in place so I hope that helped some of you out uh, if you get anything out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. That's it. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.